Here we are just capturing uh, something new that uh, it might be of interest, which is an open source uh, avionic setup. Yeah, so hi, my name is John Nickel. I'm the founder of Makerplane, which is an open source aviation community. So we're a group of volunteers all over the world that have come together to try and uh, disrupt the avionics industry, to be honest. Uh, we want to uh, um, uh, tap into the maker community, uh, tap into all of those uh, innovators at home that are used to open source hardware and software. And we've created a range of open uh, software and hardware packages that people can download from our website and construct at home. Uh, we're also releasing uh, kits and have fully assembled units as well that people can uh, use and build for their aircraft uh, at home. So that includes a range of open source uh, EFIS products as well. So uh, we have an open source EFIS, an engine monitor, uh, Adahars unit, and they can build those and uh, put them into their aircraft. So what we're using is uh, open source hardware, single board computers like uh, Beagle Bones, Raspberry Pis, that type of thing. Um, and we're pretty much hardware agnostic. The, the software is available on GitHub as open source. And you can uh, port those onto the single board computers in a Linux environment. So we are using Raspberry Pi 3s, we're using Beagle Bone Blacks and things like that. Uh, so, so what we have here is... Uh, these are two Raspberry Pis running uh, open source EFIS. I've also got a 3D printed uh, button bar here as well. And it's integrated into Stratix. And we can change uh, different screens. We can have a normal six pack. We've got an engine monitoring. Uh, we can also use the rotary encoders to change a lot of the, the forms and functions. Uh, over here, we have our packaged units. And these are going to be available for sale as well from the Make Your Plane store. So these are fully integrated, open source hardware and our software ready to go, ready to install using basically four wires for wiring. It's just power and then CAN bus high, CAN bus low. This is all a CAN bus backplane. So all the communications comes through the CAN bus into the other avionics units like our Adahars for example. So it also has our pedo and static as well. Uh, and then we have our engine monitoring uh, unit. So all of your engine sensors and other sensors will come into the bus here and then two wires will come out into the CAN bus itself. So all of this, you can have an entire glass cockpit with all of these functions for well under a thousand dollars. So our ideal customer is the uh, experimental aviation market, the home builder that's looking for uh, avionics options which don't cost twice as much as the aircraft that they're building as well. So for a very little percentage of the cost of the airframe, they can have a complete avionics set which would normally cost twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Now we are looking also in the future to move into the general aviation market as well uh, with Norseas to allow us to put in our equipment into certified aircraft. I fly a Cherokee myself, so I'm definitely looking at uh, a low cost option to upgrade my panel.